This is Andrew Stotz of A. Stotz Investment Research to present some of the academic style research recently done on world-class benchmarking. The title of this is a portfolio of only the highest profitable growth companies grew by 10 times the market portfolio. Let's dig in. First, we start by testing profitable growth and price performance. These are our hypotheses. Number one, a portfolio of high profitable growth companies in any one year also results in coincident price outperformance in that year. Hypothesis number two, a high profitable growth portfolio beats a high profitability portfolio and also beats a high growth portfolio. So we got two things, profitability and growth and profitable growth, which is a combination of the two. So let's talk about how we prepare the universe for our research. Are you ready, universe? We started with our world-class benchmarking database consisting of 27,000 companies worldwide. We looked at 20 years of data from March 1997 to August 2016. We removed financial companies because we were just testing non-financials and we were left with 23,500 non-financial companies. We then removed 4,000 stocks that did not have the fundamental data needed for the study. After that, each year we only included companies with a market capitalization greater than 500 million. So you could say that this doesn't necessarily apply to small caps. However, I suspect the results would be pretty close. To be included in any one year, the company also needed to have full year price data in that year. Now next, to eliminate outliers, we excluded stocks that had a price change of more than 500% or less than 80% in any one year. Now somebody could say, well, you should keep all stocks in there. By removing this tiny number, you're distorting the result. Well, actually, what we're trying to do is understand the general or average movement based upon this, and therefore removal of extreme outliers, which are only a fraction, a tiny fraction of total data set, makes sense. Now, this left us with, on average, 4,500 stocks per year. The minimum in any one year was 1,500, and the maximum was 8,400. So now, we want to test the coincidence between profitable growth and price performance. We used EPS growth as our measure of growth and return on assets to measure profitability. A company that was in both the top three deciles of EPS growth and in the top three deciles of ROA in each year we called a high profitable growth company meaning the combined combination of these two measures so to test across sectors and size we created our high profitable growth portfolio combining the top three deciles which had the highest profitable growth score in every sector and from each size group within that sector in other words we compared large companies in a particular sector, let's say the energy sector, against other large companies in the energy sector. And we compared small companies in, let's say, the energy or the consumer sector against small companies in either the energy or the consumer sector. We never compared companies that were in different sectors, and we never compared companies that were within a sector that were of much different size. Now, we measured the one-year price performance ending at each year's closing period compared to one year before. It's important to remember that this is a coincident analysis. This is not a forward looking. What we're asking is, did the price performance move in line with the profitable growth movement? Now our high profitable growth portfolio included on average only 500 stocks per year. Minimum in some years was 100 and the maximum was 1000. So let's go back to hypothesis number one, which was that a portfolio of high profitable growth companies in any one year also results in coincidence price outperformance in that year. Hypothesis number two, a high profitable growth portfolio beats a high profitability portfolio and also beats a high growth portfolio. So let's look at the result. What do we see? Boom, boom, boom. We can see that the universe, the market return, it's, if we start at 100, it returned 342. Then if we had the money in a, if, if we are measuring the performance in this case of the high profitability companies, instead of having a final amount of 342, which was the average for the market, 
there was a final amount of 772. And if it were high growth companies only, meaning high EPS growth, it would be 1178. So already a pretty massive difference compared to the 342. But when we combine the two, profitability and growth, for our profitable growth measure, we can see a massive 3013 return over that time. Now again, remember, this is coincident performance. This is not forward-looking performance. And what does that mean? That means that we're not trying to measure whether picking these companies would cause us to outperform because it's important to know that there's other reasons why stocks outperform, such as they're cheap. If these companies, let's say the high profitable growth companies, were actually expensive in the market, well, they may not completely, uh, they may not be good forward outperformers. But what we can see and prove from this is that if a company has high growth or high profitability or high profitable growth, a combination of the two, that company is going to see its share price rise over time, coincidentally with their improvement in their performance. So what we could see is that if we turn it into a return, a per annum return, the universe had a 5%, high profitability 10, high growth 13. So we can see that growth is most important between high profitability and growth, but the combination of those two gave 19% for coincident price return over the 20 year period. We can also see that very, very rarely, in fact, only in the year 2000, did the profitable growth performance be slightly worse than the overall universe. In addition, the high profitable growth companies beat the market 95% of the time. This chart shows the number of years that each group beats the sector peers in the past two decades. So what have we learned from this? Well, a, profitable, a portfolio of high profitable growth companies generated almost 10 times coincident market return over the past 20 years. A portfolio of high profitable growth companies yielded the highest return of 18% per annum. Only in 2000 did high profitable growth companies slightly underperform the market. And finally, a portfolio of high profitable growth companies beat the market 95% of the time. Want to become a better investor? Well, grab our free newsletter at becomeabetterinvestor.net slash join.